We're in Withenshaw as part of Operation Ingot, and that's an operation to combat organised crime. We we're carrying out a number of raids to arrest 15 individuals today to bring them to justice for crimes such as burglary, robbery and drug dealing. We do have an issue with organised criminals. I'm not talking about a Mr Big, I'm talking about uh, low-key individuals that actually talk to each other and do things together. So this is about taking them out of the picture to give victims some peace. We want to bring some justice for the victims. We've actually got some community observers with us today and some of them are victims of the crimes that these individuals have perpetrated. And it's right that they get to see what we do because actually a lot of police work happens in the background that we can't talk about at the time. So members of the community are here with us today and actually feeling good that the police are doing something to get the people that are responsible for the offences that are committed against them. So many times I suppose you hear on the, on the news or whatever that actually you know they do a, they do a crime and then the police, we don't see the police anywhere. I think just the way the police have been together and the way they worked and the way they actually went into the house you know uh, it was good to see it was really good to see and the fact that I know that it's not just a random thing where they've just gone on they've actually put work time effort into it and it's all been uh, it's, it's been fascinating to be fair. I'm a volunteer caseworker with victim support um, we look at all types of crime from burglaries to homicide um, and it has a devastating effect on people, no matter what kind of crime it is. It's been really interesting uh, coming here today to, to actually see the police in action. Um, a lot of my time I do spend in defending the police because quite often victims feel the police aren't doing enough and I know uh, from personal experience they are and today uh, has uh, actually proved that even more so. My message to offenders is don't do it. We will come for you, we will find you and you will pay the price and go to prison. The people involved today will find that that happens.